some dude but I like to lift weights and play video games and like it was a way to get adaptive apparel out and stuff but then I don't know I felt like I was falling into some conformity of some kind where I was like everybody's a YouTuber now rather than just being like filming videos for the fun of it I don't care if it's seen by one person or fucking a million really because I don't know I'm just doing whatever I want to do with my life. I'm just trying to find reasons in my day to day to actually enjoy myself. So, I'm gonna do this yeah. whenever I can. Now, if that's not the content you want, I don't care. This is a public forum. I'm gonna put out whatever I want, whenever I want. And if you don't like it, like, then don't watch it. But I am. <sighs> watch all these other people on here. Fuck me. And no, this isn't some like, oh, you're not like other YouTuber shit. No, I don't fucking care. I'm, I'm not a YouTuber. If you want to go and watch boring ass motherfuckers talk about the same supplements and do the same fucking workouts and buy expensive shit, go for it. I'm just doing whatever the hell I want to do. I'm trying to like get out of my comfort zone a little bit more. Because like, why not? So, now, I'm going to go shoot guns. I'm trying to get a fucking clip in the car driving, but I cannot get, I'm using my phone because my actual digital camera sucks dicks. Uh, I spent $800 on it years ago and now I can't be bothered like replacing it. I'm driving this detour because of the sports ball people, for, because apparently sports is so fucking important in this country. I hate sport. Um, oh my god. Any time I go anywhere and find American beverages, I will spend hundreds on them. I actually just bought a case of Dr. Pepper Zero Cherries, which cost me 20 bucks for like 10 cans. Happily. Happily buy that. Um, like I easily spend 60 to 100 bucks on like a few bags of cereal. Get! Are you fu- Bruh. Now we have... Diet Mountain Dew here, but the sweetener that America uses is apparently like not like not allowed here. So we have this one called Diet like Diet Energize, so it's got caffeine in it. And sometimes I just don't want the extra caffeine, even though I know these do. I know these have caffeine in them, but it, like ours has like 25 milligrams or like 50 milligrams per can. And it's like, dude, I already have like a gram a day. But this stuff, this is just regular Diet Mountain Dew. I love it. I love it! And I will buy a box of Reese's Puffs or Cinnamon Toast Crunch for $15 because we can't have it here. Australia is boring. I understand that we need to regulate unhealthy foods and stuff, but why do you have to be so boring? Give me some fucking CT Crunch, please. I just want sugar-free sodas and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Hey, so I obviously live in Australia. And sometimes I think there's like a misconception about guns here um, because of the amnesty back in the 90s after the mass shooting. Yes, pretty much all 
semi-automatic firearms and like most handguns and things were made pretty much like restricted to specific people um like obviously police forces security forces stuff like that but obviously we still have a massive gun culture we, we love shooting we love hunting but i think there's a much better mindset around it so i just wanted to sort of show i guess maybe people out there who don't think that we have guns for some strange reason we definitely do we are limited to what we can have um as legal private gun owners um, it's effectively low magazine capacity single action weapons so like bolt action rifles and we can own handguns, but there's, it's such a fucking process to get a handgun license. I am trying to. I'm going to try and get a handgun license this year because I've always wanted one. Um, and it is quite a process, but I think it's worth it in the end of it. But yeah, today I'm just going to show you my two rifles that I currently own. I am planning on grabbing a couple more, or at least one more down here because I want to go hunting. And you specifically need certain calibers for hunting. So I'll probably be getting either a 6.5 Creedmoor or a 6.5 Swede, something I can take out hunting. And I may be trading in my range to help pay for that, but I don't know. It's either that or I'll just buy it off. But let me show you a couple of things. So first of all, let's actually get the wrench out of the way. Show you my Ruger Precision 22. <laughs> this is a 22. Um, uh, this is the first scope that I ever bought. This is my Vortex Crossfire. This is a wonderful by. 24, I think, yeah, one to four by 24. So it's really good for this. I actually originally had it on my range, but I'm trying to shoot out past like 100 meters and it's just, it, it doesn't have the range. It's really good for that. Um, and then I put a little grip on that, literally for no reason. Like it is handy if I've got like a bag rest because I can just put the bag in between and basically chuck that there. And then it like helps me sort of stabilize a bit, but I do obviously have the bipod as well. I just thought this was quite cool. Literally, I bought this mostly for the appearance of it. It's a fantastic bench, bench rest rifle because it is so heavy and stable. Um, and obviously a 22 has absolutely no recoil, but this thing is accurate as all hell. And I really like it. I think it looks fantastic. It is a great gun to shoot. I haven't shot it too often because getting out of the range can just take a little bit of time. But like probably my favorite gun out of the two. Um, but yeah. It's just a cool Now, in New South Wales, the state that I live in, you cannot have collapsible stocks. So, there's actually a higher caliber version of this exact rifle. And the reason why I don't have that one is because you can't buy it here. You can't register it. Yeah, it has a collapsible stock. And like this one traditionally does, they've actually pinned it so you can't. It's like a fixed position stock. It can't be adjusted. So, this one is legal, but the other one isn't because apparently they can't do it with that one. Not sure why. The range was actually. The first gun that I bought, I decided I'd start with the 223 because I actually, like I've shot so much 22 that I was just like, I want to start with the 223 because it's actually the caliber I wanted. Um, and then recently I bought this cheap, whatever brand this is, Zero Tech scope, um, which I've just mounted. This thing, when it comes to like actually shouldering this, this is really easy. This is very, very light. It's got a short, I think it's a, 20 inch or a 16 inch barrel, something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and it is just, it's a fantastic shoot. Like, really light, really easy to carry around. Great for the bench rest, which is what I use it for primarily. And I'm keen to see how, how much I can really do with this new scope. But yeah, those are my guns. It's, um, it's fun, it's something I've always wanted. And for years I just put it off. Like I only got my gun license when I was 30, so it's like, Something I've wanted to do since I was 18 years old and just never did. Don't know why, just truly don't know why. Um, but yeah. Uh, hey, it's been like two weeks since that last week. <laughs> because I don't care. I don't fucking, I don't, I don't have any purpose to this. I'm just doing it for fun. So, yeah. I actually, I'm pretty sure if I go here now, I'm gonna have a look now and see when was the last video I uploaded. I'm gonna go with like a solid month, probably a lot longer. It's gotta be, it's way over a month. It's like three months? Okay, so while we're doing this, I know of this company in America called like Taylor Morrison Homes, which is really frustrating because every time I fucking search my name, it's these fucking cunts, but that's fine because who gives a shit? But there's a channel called Sassy Taylor Morrison that has two and a half thousand subscribers, some kid. This is exploitation, right? 53 videos. 
of a child on the internet, on a public forum. Anyone can use this. No one knows who's, who's watching these videos. That's not weird to anyone else. It's literally just this child. That's weird to me. Anyway, moving on. Can I find my channel? Let's see how long it takes to first find my channel before I find out how long it's been since I've made a video. It's been ages. I don't actually give a shit. Bro, <laughs> it's just that little girl again. There's a GI Yaris. Interesting, because I did film my Yaris for a video a while ago. Where's mine? Hey, if you type in Telemark and bodybuilding, it comes up. Like, pretty much immediately, so that's kind of cool. God, my videos are cringe. Gross, dude. Four months! Anyway, thanks for catching up. I'll probably see you in six months. Break the record. New PR, Finn. Just come back whenever I want to this terrible platform that, like, crushed my soul for, like, two years. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Blind?